Hello there, welcome to my channel. So uh, I have a disclaimer, my hair is a little wet. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up my May spread in my bullet journal. I'm not really physically or emotionally prepared for this. I'm a little scared. The bullet journal has become a source of anxiety for me. So today is a big day. So before we get started, I'm gonna eat some breakfast. Queen of procrast procrastination right here. Look at that, look at it. Oh yeah. And with that, let's make fun of my last attempts at bullet journaling. My past two spreads have not been good. So first up, we have this one from April. I tried to do some washi tape art for some reason. Doesn't look good. I really wanted to do a frog themed month, but I quickly learned that I don't know how to draw frogs. I did like the inside spread, but it was pretty lazy just because this is all washi tape. So it's just kind of, it looks like I did more than I did. But I did use my own stickers at least. So maybe that counts for something. <laughs> March, on the other hand, was an absolute disgrace. This is my title page. I think it's safe to say that I need to put a lot more effort in today. Oh, I've also made a little sheet with uh, a list of supplies that I use, so if you are interested, pause the screen now and you can see what I use. I forgot to mention this, but I did decide to theme this month around snails because I feel like snails and bears are my comfort animals and I just wanted something that was gonna make me feel safe. I don't know if that makes me weird, but uh, I just really like drawing snails. Also, this is my impression of being a snail, if you read that. Before I started, I did make a little thumbnail on my iPad. I'm still not 100% happy with my finished title page just because I think it looks a little muddy, but it's a lot better than my March spread, so at least there's that, and I think it still looks pretty cute. So after I finished the title page, I could calm down a little bit because it was time to do some of the more boring pages where you can just kind of zone out and, you know, draw a, a lot of squares and write down a lot of dates. The only interesting thing that I did was make a videos and notes and ideas page. So I'm hoping they're going to help me get more organized, but it is me, so we'll see. Here's a piece of advice. If you don't like something, just rip it the hell out. Oh, and you might be thinking that these pages are looking a little boring, not that interesting, but don't you even, don't you even, don't, oh my God, don't, <laughs> whoa. You, you, you could, you do. Don't even worry about it because I have a little secret on my sleeve. It's sticker time, baby. <laughs> In all honesty, learning how to make stickers has kind of changed my life because Essentially, why would I ever bother drawing something in straight into a book ever again? Uh, for this, I just made a little sticker sheet, which is a bit different than what I've normally done. Normally, I'll plan out what's going to go on each page and then make one or two stickers. But for this one, I felt like going all out and I made an actual sticker sheet. I really like how it turned out. I really love these little snails, like they are so cute. After that, it was time to print it out and I was having some serious issues with my printer. It was not cooperating. I ended up finding out that it had a weird little piece of plastic just inside of it and you'll be happy to know that I managed to fix it by picking it up and dropping it on the desk as hard as I could. Sometimes, sometimes whacking things really does work. I managed to sort that out and I got my stickers, which I was super excited about because I thought they looked so good. And then it was time to cut all of them out, which actually took me about two hours. I have been quite dramatic in explaining it in my past voiceovers. Cutting out such small stickers was, was torture. I'm a little bit dramatic. But yeah, my hands were pretty sad by the end of it. Also, while I'm editing this, I'm listening to the Ice Age soundtrack and I'm honestly crying in the club right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it took me ages and uh, I was pretty dead by the end of it, but it was worth it because now I can make my bullet journal look cool. Look, I said it before and I'll say it again. It's sticker time, baby. <laughs> this is honestly the best part of the video, but most of the footage was me trying to peel the backs off each sticker. But method-wise, I just tried to match the colors best I could. I also had to remember to fight the urge to stick them everywhere because God knows I wanted to, but I have to remember that I actually have to use this thing. But 
the last thing that I had to worry about was the page behind my title page and normally I'll do like a little collage thing with things I like but I really didn't know what to do and I didn't really want to set up my printer again so I started to make some little stickers. I did a full sheet of those and then decided that I didn't want to stick them in which was great. I eventually decided to stick in a little digital painting that I did of me and Sandy. And then it was pretty much done. I just added some stickers to finish it up and now we can look through the finished bullet journal. Okay, yeah, so that is the end of this video. Um, I'm actually filming from when I did the intro, so I hope it went okay. If not, I'm sorry for wasting your time. So anyway, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure that you leave a like down below. And if you wanna see more content from me, make sure you subscribe. Also, comments are very much appreciated. I really like to hear from you, so ow. Yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, that's, that's great. Or really bad, depending what you just said. Is this uncomfortable for everyone? Okay, I'm gonna stop doing this. <coughs> Am I really awkward? Is this feeling? Does this feel awkward for you? I can't tell if it's coming across. I feel awkward. I found a lot of sunglasses, but I think someone broke these. <laughs> Got something on your face there? Let me help you. Uh, gross. What have you been doing? Right here at the end of the the says